Hey Keller Williams, it's Paul with KWU, and today we're going to learn how to send a referral in command. So using the referrals applet in command, you have access to one of the largest referral networks in the country. This includes not only KW agents in the US, Canada, but also worldwide. So in the referrals applet, you're able to grow your own personal referral network. You're able to send and receive referrals, and you're able to then track and manage those referrals that have been accepted or that you have accepted. So let's jump right in and get started. First, log in to command by going to agent.kw.com with your KW login credentials. Once there, go on the left side of the page and click referrals. Now from here, there's kind of two ways you can go and find who you want to send a referral to. You can use, you can go to map at the top of the page. You can search for a specific area, or you can just search around the map and zoom in. Once you get close enough, you'll start seeing agents pop up. Now, there are some map views you can use, whether it's production, which will show um, closed production for either the buy or sell side. You can search by market center, or you can search by folks who are in your network. Now, once you find who you want to send a referral to on the map, you can just click the send a referral button right here and it'll pop up the form. The other way is to go back to the dashboard and you can see a list of those folks who are in your referral network. Once you find who you want to send the referral to, click send referral and the form will appear. In the referral request form, you'll see who you're sending the referral to at the top. First, choose what type of referral is this? Is this a buyer referral, seller, tenant, or landlord? You'll see options change as you choose different referral types. Next, set the referral fee. Uh, by default, it'll be on 25%, but you can move this up um, as low or as high as you would like to go based on the percentage you would like to receive. Next, set the acceptance deadline. So this acceptance deadline is how long the person receiving the request has to accept or reject the request before it expires. So it's going to default on 24 hours. You can move that up to 48 hours, all the way up to 96 hours if you would like. Then we get to the price section. So you know, we don't always know the exact price, but you can let the referral uh, agent know uh, what the minimum price is going to be and what the maximum price is going to be based on what you know about the client. Next, you can actually write a note to them. So this is where you could put in a good personalized message uh, to let them know some of the high level details around the referral. Once you write the note, now we want to attach a contact to this referral form. So this can either be someone who's already in your database that you're referring to this other agent, or you can create an entire new contact. If it's someone already in your database, click in the box, just start typing, and you can select the contact from the dropdown. If you wanted to create a new contact, just put in the client's first name, their last name, Are they pre-approved? Are they pre-qualified? What's their home address? Choose the address from the dropdown. And what's their desired location? And select that location from the dropdown as well. We also have uh, contact information for this client. What's their phone number? And what's their email address? Then we're going to set what is the transaction timeline here? What are we looking at for this transaction? Click in the box, use the calendar to let them know what our timeline is for this transaction. And then click add contact and send. 
Now, once you send that referral, the receiving agent will now have a, re a pending referral that they can click on. They can see the details. They'll see how long they have to respond. And they'll see, um, you know, everything here that you put in there. They can see an activity log when it was created. Everything done on this referral will show up on the activity log. They can reject. They can come back with a counter or they can accept. When they accept, they'll write a message. Click accept. And you'll notice it will actually have them create an opportunity for this new referral. And once they create that opportunity, they've accepted the referral. And you'll now be able to see um, and track this referral and see what pipeline phase the referral is in in their opportunity pipeline. So. For more information on sending referrals, go to the question mark at the top right of any page in command, choose Keller Williams University, and use the search. Thank you. To learn more about using this game-changing technology for your business, check out these videos right over here.